Hey guys, I've been playing with the XB and they're pretty cool stuff. They're kind of expensive. The cheapest one I think is about $20 and uh, the depending on the range that you get, you can go all the way up to like $50 I think a piece. So you need two of them. Uh, this one is pretty cool. It has a ceramic antenna so it doesn't you can put them in a very small container without having to worry about the antenna. But anyway, more about that later. But what we have here right now is a little simple demo where this is a fast domino which I'm using as a transmitter. And as I press this button, I turn that LED, build an LED on. And I also send the word on through the serial port here. So this is the serial out coming out of the uh, domino, coming into the serial in on the Netduino. And the Netduino will look at the data that's coming in, if it's the word on, it will turn the light on, and if it's the word off, it will turn the light off. So that's why it's doing. But back to the XP, what the XP allow you to do basically is replace this red wire with the wireless connection. It is pretty cool. So let's see that work. I'm going to turn this off while we rewire. We will not be needing any more common ground since we will be wireless. So I'm going to take this out. And instead of sending the data directly from this out, serial out port, to the serial in, we're going to take this one out, and we're going to put it into the data in of the XB, which is pin third one, which is pin one. I mean, I mean pin two, zero one two. Let's put this upside down so we could see what we're doing. Okay, won't stay. That's why I make one of these. Uh, let, me, let me put this over here. This is just a little uh, holder I make uh, using popsicle sticks and hot glue gun. Pretty hobo, but it works pretty well. It keeps everything together instead of just flying around all over the place. So, anyway, oh, this is the XB uh, breakout board from SparkFun. They're pretty handy, as you can see. I'm using it on this one here. So, uh, because the XB has very, very, very tiny pin, um, they're like zero point some smaller pin, to, smaller distance than the normal pitch that is on a regular breadboard. So you can't plug this in directly, so you have to get one of these. But anyway, I'm using this one as my cheat sheet because I cannot remember which one is which. So they're upside down over here, so we're gonna do this upside down. So. So we have the data coming out of here into the transmitter XB and then we also need some power to power the XB. So we're going to put the ground wire here and the positive wire here and we're going to actually give it 3.3 volt. Oh yeah, this is uh, I like I put a little pins here so I can use these clips. So they were quite handy. They work quite well for something temporary like this. Okay, uh, excuse me. I think we got that side and we don't need this anymore and we're gonna wire the receiver exactly the same with one small exception which is the data. So this is ground. I'm going to take that pin out. We're gonna need some positive also. Again, this is 3.3 volts instead of uh, 5 volt because that's what the XP wants. Probably won't be good if you put in 5 volts there. Never try it. Probably should. Okay, and then from the data out coming in here, data out which is pin 1. Okay. Double check. I think we got everything. So we got power, ground, and 3.3 volts. Ground and 3.3 volts on the outside. Pin one and pin zero and pin ten. And the data. We skip one there to go to the data in. So from data out, going data in, wirelessly going in here to the data out, going to the data in, and these two are just power. Let's see if I blow anything up. 
Okay, let's press the button. Ta-da! As you can see, there's no more connection wire. This is completely wireless now. Uh, there's self-contained wireless, and you could put this anywhere. And data actually could go both ways. Uh, these are identical. They're uh, they're both receiver and transmitter in one unit. And all you need basically is to put two wires: one to go from the data out to the data in, and from the data in to go to the data out. And you can transmit back and forth wirelessly. And if you're interested, I'm going to do another video for the source code, but it's pretty simple. Basically, it's spitting data out. When you press a button, you send the data out. And when you, uh, on the other side, it just listens until some data come in. And when the data, depending on what the data come in, the message, the command coming in, you will either turn the light on or turn the light off. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.